All right, welcome to my tutorial of the cheap alternative to a coding bootcamp. Well, one of my favorite places to learn how to code is Team Treehouse. So this is a home. Because most people don't show how to use Team Treehouse, I'm going to. So they have a tech degree thing, which is like $1,000, but I don't use that one. I use the regular tracks for 25 a month. I use um, the tracks. So basically, if you want to learn like a certain language or how to build something, um, these are the tracks. So it won't be a web designer. This is a track. It's pretty cool. These are the topics. It has like HTML, CSS, CSS, more CSS forms. It's probably the most important. HTML forms, I mean, tables. And then responsive design, Flexbox design. Everything, everyone uses Flexbox now. And there's design foundation, so I teach Photoshop and Illustrator. So these two classes will make you a designer. And they're really good. Because instructors are like really good at explaining things. And they're way better than our professors ever can ever teach at um, a university. And plus I went to a coding boot camp. And they still can't teach as well at Team Treehouse. Can. So Gil's a really good instructor. So all you gotta do is sign up, $25 a month, you go to tracks. So I would go to Indeed and then look what kind of jobs are like junior developer and see what kind of stuff that I need to learn. See, they want HTML, CSS, PHP, JavaScript, MySQL. Magento? They don't have Magento. Do they have WordPress? You can learn that at Linda or some other tutorial or probably Tut Plus. But the one year experience is not that important as long as you have a really good portfolio because it's junior developer. So you want to learn the PHP track here. They have WordPress track too. So you go, oh, I want to learn this. And then go to a track have a track. Yeah, I have different tracks. Finished JavaScript. Finished. I think React right now. Tracked. It's front end developer. So they teach you Git basics, front end performance. So I'll give you an example of like a all this stuff is copyrighted to Team Treehouse. I am kind of affiliated. Well, they love me anyway, so whatever. I'm just helping them try to promote and get more users on here because it's a really good place to learn code. So, for example, I can switch to Rails. Now I go on this. Go to Rails, like switch track. I'm gonna learn Rails. So it's you just follow the whole track and you should know how to develop for Rails. So you can go here, click this one, and basically you was not trailer, like you go you just start from one by one. And you get this little blip. So it's like a video. Hi everyone. So it's like one big video, and then after that you get like a quiz, like a mini quiz. Then you watch another video, and you get another quiz. It's really well produced because they have like After Effects animations. So this is what I would be doing. So basically I'll figure out, oh, where do I live? So I live in LA, and I'm gonna look for a junior developer, and then I'm gonna learn whatever stack that's available in the area and I'll just go to the tracks and learn that stack. And then I also have a membership with Code School because they're really ex good at explaining with theory. One of my favorite tracks is JavaScript. Like these three are like a core basics of JavaScript. And you can just like go through one by one. 
And then they also have quizzes after the videos. But if you want to watch the videos, you go here and watch a video course like this. Because usually they don't show you how to use the site and maximize the maximum time. If you don't have time to do the exercises, then um, I would just watch the videos. And then you can also go to a free code camp and just do the exercises there. This is their entire map. You can do all the exercises here. They don't have good video tutorials at all. They give you challenges. But like, I recommend creating like a full stack app before you try to get a job. Basically have a database, REST API, login, and that'll be that to show that you can actually run your own and create a full stack app. And CodeSchool also has a um, database. They have MySQL on Mongo. I think it's that good. I recommend reading a book. Books are better. I don't have one on top of mine. They're right here, the database. Courses. So they give you SQL. You can learn SQL here. But you also can learn SQL at Treehouse. But I think Treehouse has better quizzes. And they teach a bit slower. So I would recommend doing Treehouse first. And then a little bit more advanced would be Code School. And after that, I would recommend reading books and documentation and Googling and Stack Overflow. Because code can get pretty deep. And there's a lot to learn. Yeah, and then probably get a lot of thumbs down. They also have, starting with .NET to um, C Sharp, and .NET is the framework to create a REST API and logins. They have Git. Git's very important. You have to know Git to get a job because um, you got to push things to GitHub and then pull things from GitHub, branch them. So you, so you can collab with people. So that's like why Git's very important. You learn Git here. And you also need like basic command lines, you know, like CD, touch, Victor, okay, this is like, this is how you update your node. You go in sudo and latest and you update. So it's your updated, it's on. So V node oh, console log hello semicolon it's called stringy because of the string. Oh, oh string, a little string. Oh, console log string. Oopsie. I don't know why I saw it defined because that defined right here. So that was ES6. Um, the thing about ES6, you have to know how to compile it. Don't teach here, which is funny. Um, they do teach you ES6 here. So you would use like a thing called like you know Webpack or compile it. Webpack, okay. That Webpack two. Um, you can also learn a lot of things from Udemy because they have courses on like these technologies. But yeah, you can try YouTubing it, but like a lot of people are trying to make money off tutorials now, but they really should because uh, what's the point of doing tutorials for free if you can't make some money? Because it helps out the content creators a lot because we spend a lot of time doing this. And my mouths to feed myself. I'm gonna get a thumbs down for this video. Uh, so go you me. Webpack too. Scott teaches it, Stephen.
He also teaches um, React. Uh, so yes, six is a new. Oh, I'll show you what. Oh God, well, yes. So the reason why you have to compile it is for the old browsers, because only Chrome and the new Firefox probably sees ES six, and everyone has their own version of uh, JavaScript, even Adobe. It's like there's so many different versions of JavaScript. It's insane. Is wrapped in an iffy calling itself. So just boy, uh, Does it on the anonymous function man? So we let yo equals this because it's anonymous one. This is just, yeah, so you compile um, ES6 into ES5 so older browsers can see it. Um, a lot of people don't tell you these things because they're not very, well, tech savvy, but there's a lot of advanced developers out there. And I'm gonna hush hush. I'm not the best developer in the world. Because I could honestly say Gil kicks my ass at Team Treehouse. He's awesome. And um Kenneth Love is really, really good at Python and his course is fucking phenomenal. And I highly recommend it to anyone learning Python. He's, this is the best course probably in the whole world, because I haven't seen anything better than his track. It's amazing. So, yeah. Explains what the variable is. If you don't believe me, you can just try it for like a week. If you don't like it, just bounce some t-shirts. Like, oh, I don't like this place. And the biggest risk is $25. But I like it a lot. But you can easily learn it from like free code camp and uh, books. But it'll be a lot harder because... Um, I like having um, videos and quiz, so we just watch one, but... They're not all the same, though. In Python, a variable is a name for a value. Thing next to me. Use and numbers. Anytime you hear me talking about variables... Alright, let's do variable. Um, let's see. Past it. I know a little bit of a uh, Python, like like a tad, because I used to do. Um, this is where I first started to code. I started coding with Code Combat because I was curious, and then that's how I learned how to code. But it's very like you start off procedurally. That's where I learned. Just, Code combat. For the win! Grab the treasure. You can use these methods. Type your code on the right. Oh, they changed it. They have a... Um, they changed it, so... Now it's like basically it's encapsulated in a name space called hero. And then zero right.
This game changes a lot. For the win! Uh, this game changes a lot. So, the hero got moved up. Hero moved down. Background noise. Don't do that. Up. Uh, actually, let's try. Up. Uh, down twice. Up. Uh, twice. Oh, hero dot move right. So this is Python. So this is where I learned Python. Yeah, I know it procedurally, but I haven't... I don't remember it, like, object-orientedly or functional yet. Because I haven't did it for a while. Okay, so um, this ends my rant. I hope you guys learned something. And um, please use my affiliate links below. It'll help me out a lot. Well, I only have one, Team Treehouse. And I also will put an Amazon link for a sake of, you know, some books I recommend reading, I guess. I, ju I just recommend database books because database hasn't changed like 20 years. Everything else you just have, you, ha you can learn on like videos or like stuff like that. So I want to end this with a goodbye. So I'm gonna be saying bye, guys, and. On hacking, and please click my tutorials. I mean, not my tutorials, my affiliate links below. And please sub, please sub. About it, and hopefully, your career gets better in 2017. Or you can start your own startup. You never know, because um, you gotta start somewhere. And coding is pretty much it, because like your software and services can be seen around the world, digital.com. Yeah, bye.